arsenal of the Commonwealth before uh, American involvement, even with Lend-Lease, uh, the Canadians and uh, factories all over Canada were producing a massive amount of equipment uh, for the British and our allies, and then finally to equip the Canadian Army. So uh, the plant here in Oshawa, the General Motors plant, tractor, the thing hauling the, the limber and the gun. It was made right here in Oshawa. It's a Chevy. There was a, a Ford version as well, made in Windsor. These things are cool. Look at the slide back like the Hummer. These were super strong vehicles. If you're up in northern Ontario, you'll still see them in uh, uh, wrecking yards and uh, lumber mills. They're still in service and people put snow plows on them. They still run. Uh, they were just amazing days uh, all over the world. He sent them everywhere. And these are the, uh, some of the vehicles that you're going to They were very powerful. This particular one was actually found in a junkyard up in Aurelia some years ago. And lovingly restored. Look at that. It's uh, been used uh, in many, many important ceremonies. And here we go. type of vehicle, they have all different uh, names, but they're more commonly known as the CMP, or Canadian Military Pattern Vehicle. The Canadian Military Pattern Vehicles were exported all over the world to all of our allies. Here come the uh, Toronto Limber Gunners. Now if you thought those other vehicles were allowed, this is a 25 pounder quick firing artillery piece. These were deployed with the Canadians and uh, British forces throughout Europe during the Second World War. And it's such a fantastic weapon uh, that it saw exclusive service well after the war, into the Korean War and beyond. Now all the members here are actually retired artillerymen from the uh, Canadian Armed Forces that are now in the uh, Toronto Limber Gunners and the uh, Artillery Association. And this is going to be very loud. They're going to fire off five quick firing rounds. Now, these are retired artillerymen, but you can imagine if they were young 20 year olds in the fields of Italy in the Second World War, this gun could lay down a massive barrage. Battery, are you ready? On my command, fire! If anyone doesn't know it's a Kino Tank weekend in this neighborhood, they sure do now. Let's say, uh, say thank you to uh, the Toronto Limber Gunners for really kicking up this show in our morning show. We really appreciate our neighbors. We love our neighbors. We apologize profusely. I hope none of them were trying to sleep in. <laughs> So the uh, Toronto Limber Gunners. Oh, have you found another round? Battery, are you ready? Gun empty. Gun empty. Thank goodness. All right. You have to understand that uh, those in the artillery don't have great hearing, and I think you now know why. So while the Trump, uh, Toronto Limber Gunners are limbering up, we're going to bring out our next Allied vehicle. 
the day out. <laughs> Actually, one of my favorites, it's small but definitely has some bite. It's an armored vehicle, it's a tracked vehicle, but it is not a tank. It's the Universal Carrier, commonly known as the Bren Gun Carrier from the light machine gun. start to see some other vehicles moving around. We're going to try and speed things up this year. And uh, so you'll see some uh, German vehicles moving towards the uh, north end of the field. They're basically just getting uh, ready for the setup. We'll explain that a little later. But we will be showing you some more Allied vehicles and weapons uh, after, if you get a chance, in between uh, battles. We'll talk to the guys. Uh, many are veterans, some aren't. If you're interested in getting involved in the hobby, it's, it's great fun. Men and women, you get to drive tanks and do all kinds of cool 